Hello everyone, welcome back to Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. Today, we have another blue Kirby on our title screen. Hey look, our file has 10%. That's nice. Okay, anywhere. Anyway, last time we just got to Onion Ocean. And now, let's do more of Onion Ocean. It's pretty simple. We're, not, we're probably not going to have time to do Mary Magland today, because we have two other stages to do before we fight the boss. And this stage has like, four energy spheres, and the other one has a lot more, so let's get right into it. Okay, I hate this stage, because you gotta skim the sides for items. You gotta skim the sides of these things for items. I did not know those enemies did that. I hope my mic is working, because it got unplugged recently. Because it says it's working on my stream, on OBS, but can't be, can never be too sure. Alright. Hammer. I, I I always thought there was a secret in this area, but nope. Hammer's here. Hammer ability, one of the only abilities that can be used underwater. Pretty good attack buff underwater, just in case we lose it, I'm always gonna have the kind mask on. going to be a secret door in one, of, in one of these areas. As you know, I literally know life this game. Well, not really. I never really told you the story. But when I was younger, about like two, one to two years ago, I have, I went back to this game on the Wii and I like know life this game so hard that I 100%ed it. Like I literally 100%ed the entire game on the Wii. It took me like a few weeks to do. And it was really fun just to go through the game twice, actually. And I learned all the meta, where all the secrets were. I even joined a Discord server for Kirby, just to brag about how I 100%ed the game for the first time ever in my life. And then that's what made this game my favorite Wii game and my favorite Kirby game of all time. Too bad, too bad that this Kirby game literally defined the rest of the Kirby games. Every Kirby game is just like Return to Dreamland, but with slight differences. Oh yeah, here's another reason why I hate this level. See, this level gives you stars to follow, and then you just have no idea, so I'm assuming it's this one. Oh, nice. Okay. Would have gotten an Eric. I would have gotten a Barracuda if I wasn't careful. That guy gets lead. Once we get to Halcandra, I will tell you guys about the, the two boss killers. But I've already teased that Sand will be another boss killer along with um, me. But I'll explain that in more detail once we get to Halcandra and the bosses start getting tougher. You gotta sink yourself deep in the water. Because there's a current that keeps you up. Wouldn't be able to do that with hammer like I normally would with stone puzzles. Because they normally require. They normally talk about wooden stakes that you have to press down using hammer or anything that smashes. Okay, here's this puzzle. I'm probably gonna die like 20 times on this puzzle because I have no idea how to do it. Okay. And then the trail dies off. I'm just gonna do the normal one. Actually, I think I suffered on this puzzle on my actual account. I did this one. I think I did this one. Oh, oh no. Oh my god. 
Yeah, I didn't get this right. I'm gonna have to die. So it's clearly not that one. Let's try the one on the far left. Or far right, actually. Second tries the charm. Alright, let's get out of here. I knew it was on one of the cardinal sides, but I never really thought which side it was on. I'll get to see this part. Some tomato though. I'll take damage and take that tomato back. Using the same tomato. Oh! I guess we get a monster flame segment. Yeah, these guys, these are just creepy. They're just stupid creepy. I don't even know what these things are supposed to be. They always freak me out as a kid. Not when they have their eyes like that, but when their eyes are glowing. What even are these things? Oh, I hate these guys. All of you must die. All of you will suffer. Why are they built like that? You know, it would be ridiculous if they could still damage you when they're falling apart. Because I'd always presume that, because hitboxes in this game are like absolute poo poo. Things can hit you when they're like dead. And I don't get that. Oh no. No, this section could be an Ultra Sword section, and nobody would care. Because everything you have to do would be the same. How are you not dead? Seeing kind summon giant pillars like dragons of fire is so scary to me. Okay. Come on. What? 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 This man is trolling me. There. Burn. Oh my god, I killed that guy. I killed him. He's dead. He literally died. He just melted into a pile of black goo. Oh my god, you Barracuda! Kind mask for the win.
Okay, time to fight the doomer of this stage. I'm gonna go spear at this point. It's fire and a wire. Oh my god, he took my ability, okay. I can use my incredibly close range. My incredibly close range water attack. Directly into his, like, eyeballs. Right in his fire type face. You know, I often look at my PC screen while I'm recording while I play the game. It gives a lot of end lag, but I also have a TV that I play on, so I should really look at that more often. Let's go. He's getting down! Kirby is getting down! Again. Like I said last episode, I have no idea how to commentate on videos. Alright, time for stage four. The egg catcher minigame. We literally played that in like the second episode. I I'm surprised we're unlocking it in, mag in the Magler place now. Okay, this stage is going to be long. Okay, here we go. Maybe I don't want to release all of them. Just realize how beautiful the background is in the game. By the way, those squid guys are called squishies. I wish I was joking, but I'm not. That's their actual names, squishies. Okay, we are now in underwater ruins. That waddle dude is just chilling, bro. It wouldn't matter what you're doing, though. Mm -hmm. It still makes you an invincible attack. Can I still do this without sword? Let's check. Because this is those are multi level doors. Oh. Yes, I can. I can do this without sword. Three out of the nine Waddle Dees perished in that terrible tragedy. And the fact that Parasol still makes you invincible, even when underwater, is so cool. And you can hold that move for as long as you want. Though it sends you down at an angle, which is pretty annoying. Right. Oh. Okay. Oh wait, we don't need water gal though because already have the Kai Mask, which does what Water Galvo does. What just like the water ability will do under the water. Okay, see that thing covered in kelp right there? Let me just zoom into it. That's a door. We have to swim through it using the invincible candy. Have to swim around it and then go into the dirt. See, that's where the other side comes out of. You can do it with just any ability, like sword.
know game didn't release a trombone champ video? Never thought they'd do that. I'm sorry about for talking about anything but Kirby, but that's just weird. Oh, hi, Sword. In superior. To Umbrella here. Apparently, the lingering Umbrella hitbox doesn't exist under the water, which just straight annoys me. What do you mean I can't deal infinite damage? Okay, here's where the Umbrella ability will probably help me a lot because of these spinning shell deals. Oh, wait, never mind. I have to ditch Umbrella like right now. Spear is apparently going to be my best friend in this game due to the incredible distance on which it can attack. Two more, and we're almost out of time for the video. I don't think we'll be able to beat the boss today. But I guess next time we beat the boss, then we do the rest of the episode in Magaland. How's that sound? Actually, Needle would be a better ability. Section. Oh, this is a balloon bomb, by the way. The bomb gets bigger and it explodes. The bigger increments the longer you hold it. Also damages you too. Got to mention that. But for little increments of damage. Alright, let's see. Oh, more of these eel guys. Oh, they get big in this one. Star piece is I mean not Star Piece, but I'm gonna right now. The last part is right here, and I think I needed to keep spear in that entire section. Thank god that's what these things are for. Thank god for Mary thank god for souvenirs from Mary Magdalene. That'll be all for today. Um, tomorrow, we will fight the boss, and then we will spend most of the rest of the time in Mary Magaland. Well, hold on, let me just wait for this animation to complete. Sorry, 20 minutes plus the outro will be like 20 minutes. 
21 minutes even, if this keeps going on for at least 30 seconds. See, there's the big bad boss over there. That's a boss intro. Boss door intro, actually. But anyway, I hope to see you guys next Oh, Magamore, stop! I'm trying to do the outro. Alright, hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.